With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is: A positive charged particle of charge Q and mass small m enters into a uniform magnetic field with velocity v as shown in the figure. There is no magnetic field to the left of P Q. Find a the time spent. B the distance travelled in the magnetic field in part C we have to find the impulse of the magnetic force. Now in the figure we are given a magnetic field which is uh, in the direction inward. Okay, so if I take this axis to be positive x and this axis to be positive y, then the magnetic field would be along z axis. Okay, or we can say minus z axis. Okay, inside the screen. So we have to find the time spent by the particle, the distance travelled by the Particle and the impulse of the magnetic force on the particle. Now we are seeing that a particle with velocity v is entering the magnetic field, and see when the magnetic the, when the particle will enter this magnetic field, the velocity will always remain perpendicular to the magnetic field, and then it will the particle will perform a circular motion. Okay, and it will take a exit from the magnetic field at the same angle at which it entered. Hence, this angle would be. It will make an angle of theta only, okay, with the vertical, and it will take the exit. Okay, now see the total angle moved by the particle will be theta plus theta, that is two theta, right? So if this is the center, okay, if this is the center, then the total angle subtended by the particle would be two theta, right? So now this two theta angle we can write as See for part A, we have to find the time spent. So I can write the angle subtended two theta will be equal to omega t. Now see, this is the thing that uh, if I am taking the time by the particle taken, okay, or spent inside the magnetic field which is moving with the angular velocity that is omega, making an angle of two theta. Okay, full angle two theta. Now we have two theta will be equal to omega is given as two pi by t into t. And further, we know that t is given as two pi m over b q, right? So from here, if I put the value, we will get two pi divided by two pi into m over b into q into small t. So two pi and two pi will cancel out, and we will get t equals to two m theta divided by b q. So this will be the Time spent by the particle in the magnetic field. In part B, we have to find the distance travelled by the particle. Now, see, it is talking about the distance travelled. Hence, we have to find this distance. Okay. If it has talked about the displacement, then we have we would have calculated this distance. But in this part, we have to find the distance travelled. Hence, we have to take this curved path. Okay. This arc length we have to calculate. So, if I take r to be the radius of this circular path, then the in the part b we can say that the distance traveled the distance traveled by the particle by the particle would be equal to this arc length and arc length will be given as the angle subtended multiplied by the radius so that is 2 theta multiplied by r okay and further we know that r will be given as 2 theta into this is mv divided by bq hence i can write that the distance traveled that is d will be given as 2m theta v divided by bq so this is the distance traveled by the particle in the magnetic field now in part c we have to find the impulse of magnetic force okay so we have c this is the initial let's say initial momentum so this angle is theta so here we can write pi so this would uh, this would be mv cos theta okay and this angle would be mv sin theta okay this component so this would be mv sin theta and further we will have this component this will be the final momentum okay this is pf and this final momentum will be minus mv sin theta Okay, because it is toward the negative x direction and this will be the mv cos theta.
okay so why i have taken the final and initial momentum because we know that the impulse of a force or in this case the impulse of the magnetic force will be given as change in momentum okay and change in momentum is pf minus pi vector okay final momentum minus initial momentum so final momentum we have is mv sin theta minus mv sin theta minus mv sin theta i cap plus we have mv cos theta j cap mv cos theta j cap okay overall minus we have the initial momentum is mv sin theta i cap okay we have mv oh have made a mistake here so this would be okay this would be reversed okay this would be cos theta here and this part would be mv sin theta okay so here we have mv sin theta i cap plus mv cos theta j cap okay so from here this mv cos theta and mv cos theta part will cancel out and we will get the change in momentum or we can say the impulse of the magnetic force would be equals to minus 2 mv sin theta i cap okay so this is the required answer for part c thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today